reach out. Welcome to the Game Pothead, Joe Pop Putty Man here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this first just to um, make sure I get this across. Um, this will be the spoiler free and spoilers review for Star Wars The Last Jedi. On the bottom of the screen, you will see spoiler free on the left hand side and then spoilers on the right. Um, we will indicate the beginning of when I'm doing the spoiler free with Ray and then spoilers with Kylo Ren. So, with that in mind, let us go ahead and do the review for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Okay, so going into this movie, I knew that I heard a lot about how great this movie was going to be and that there was going to be a lot of shocking things. I had my mind fucking blown, and I'm so sorry for cussing, but that's the best way I can explain it. This movie is amazing. Ryan Johnson is a god among my eyes. He finally took Star Wars and did what we loved about everything about it. The excitement, the the unexpectedness, the, the chills, the, the humor, the love, the, the pulling the heartstrings. The things they do in this movie. I cried like three times. I laughed like five times. I got on the edge of my seat excited like a little kid. So many times in this movie that I'm actually getting choked up, wetting the tear up because I'm so happy this movie exists. Just in general, if you... Love the original trilogy. If you like Empire Strikes Back, if any of the movies hit your heartstrings in any way, you need to see this movie. It is so good. It is so good, and I'm so happy. I can't believe I'm ever going to say this, but Disney did right by every single Star Wars fan when it came to this movie. It is just so breathtakingly beautiful that I just can't stay in just a spoiler-free review, guys. I'm so sorry. I want to make it all just spoiler-free for you guys, but all I can say is you need to go see it, because right now I need to talk about this movie, and we need to go into the spoilers review. So at this point, I'm going to stop here and just say if you have not seen this movie, if you have an inkling of liking any Star Wars movie in your life, any time, no matter what movie it is, you need to see this movie. You need to go and cater yourself and treat yourself for this movie. So for that, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, honestly, go see this movie. Let us go into the spoilers review because I'm too excited to talk about anything else. Let's get into it. Okay, so for the spoiler review, first up and foremost, this is a spoiler review. If you do not want spoilers, you need to stop here and go see this movie. If you've seen the movie, then you're probably going to be the same way I am. So anytime if I point out something that you loved, if I miss something that you loved, please comment below. I want to have a discussion about this. I want Star Wars fans to come out. If you're a pothead and you love Star Wars, you need to watch this part of the review. And if you've seen this movie, only if you've seen this movie. If you haven't, treat yourself. God damn, my phone went off. <laughs> if you did, you got to treat yourself and go and see this. So let me go ahead and get into why this movie is so great. Um, based on, well, you already know, you have to have seen it, so you understand why it's so great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the, the main roles. Um, first and foremost, characters like um, Poe Dameron, the uh, actor did a great job. He feels like a Han Solo of this film. He does a great way of, of giving us that action adventure, and God damn it, my phone is going off like crazy. Why am I so busy? Anyway, so um, he did a great job of this movie, keeping up with everything and giving that heroic and, you know, taking chances kind of situation, so it works out in that in that manner. Um, moving on... Um, I, I'm trying to think of Finn. Okay, let's go ahead and get into Finn. Actually, let's get into Rose. Now, Rose and Finn are, are two characters that uh, go together with characters like BB-8 and everything. And um, 
Uh, BB-8 is still loved and charming in this movie. Finn, he's really showing his heroic side, and it's really exciting. And we see a love growing. You definitely know that Rose and him are falling in love, and you want that. You want Finn to find that love. He deserves it. Because Ray is way too busy with some other things when it comes to that matter, and we're definitely going to get into that. Now, next thing I want to go into is Snoke. Now, if you've seen the movie, you're probably like me, Okay. Oh, and by the way, let me go back to the Finn thing real quick before I get to Snoke. Sorry, I didn't put the Snoke picture up. But Finn also goes against Captain Phasma, and it's a great battle. He finally does what, what he deserves to take on Captain Phasma. And she does a great job, too. So, you know, big ups to her. But now we got to get into these crucial characters. I'm going to miss a lot in these and everything. And... Um, Porgs are going to pop up here and there because Porgs are cute and everything, but they don't have major plot. They're just fucking cute. You know, even Chewbacca has fallen in love with Porgs. But anyway, so the main character of the story, like Finn and Rose and all their main characters, but the main meat and potatoes is the Kylo Ren, Rey, Luke Skywalker, and General Organa. Um, you know, Leia Organa. So, first and foremost, Rey. Rey is becoming a strong, strong Jedi. And it makes me proud to say that. She is strong with the Force. And, you know, you, you find so many openings thinking that Kylo Ren is going to go good. And, you know, Snoke actually manipulates both of those. And you guys, clearly, if you've seen the movie, you know this. Um, but to see Snoke die so early... I would, that was unexpected. Again, one of those shockers I did not expect. I was thinking Snoke was going to be a major part, but then Kylo Ren takes over and becomes the evil guy in this. But my God, there's a moment, that moment where you see, uh, where you see uh, Leia Organa fly into space and then uses force powers to come back. She's truly going to be an epic character in this last movie. I don't know how they're going to do it with Carrie Fisher being gone. I'll get into that later. We really need to get into her later because I'm, I'm going to get teary-eyed with that. So let's not get into that part yet. So next thing's next is with the whole Ray, uh, you know, and Luke saying that the Jedi need to die, you know, he says he's wrong about that and everything. And I'm going to keep some one, you know, one thing secret that happens in this because even if you do watch the spoilers, there's one thing you have to be surprised by. And everyone knows what I'm going to talk about. And please, if you... If you want to comment below, you can, but I'm going to say, if they say it in the comments, it's a huge spoiler I'm not going to give away, okay? It's a character that returns in the original trilogy. Actually, no, he's in all the trilogy except Force Awakens. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but Luke, it, Mark Hamill is fantastic in this movie, but the shocker is, I actually thought because of Carrie Fisher being dead that she would pass away in the movie. But no, Luke did. Another shocker. Luke Skywalker dies, but it's such a great moment, being the hero that we all want him to be. It just blew me away in every single aspect. I mean, uh, it's just the way he did it, and just the, every move, and oh my God, my breath. I'm I'm tired, guys. I have to work in the morning, and I'm just I I have so much to say about this. But you know, Ray and Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is now just. Full force evil, and I love it. He is finally taking up the mantle of Darth Vader, and I I didn't know if he'd be pushed that far, but it was. But again, Ray's taking up the mantle of what Luke could be. But honestly, I feel like she's taking on the mantle of what Princess Leia is. And you you think to yourself because of Mark Hamill being such a lucrative character in Luke Skywalker that um, he would be the major character, but no. Carrie is. And I think this is what they're doing. They're dedicating dedicating it to the princess. So see, I'm getting choked up. So I think they actually killed off Luke Skywalker because they want her to be the saving force of this last trilogy because it's the last one with her. So I think that Carrie Fisher is going to keep a huge part just again in the last movie. And it, I've already got heart streets because they dedicate this movie to her. You see it at the end. And um, it pulls heartstrings, everyone. It's it's an emotional thing. This is I miss her so much, and this right here made me miss her even more. And I'm getting choked up. I'm trying not to get choked up, but my God, they did her justice so well. I miss her. I'm gonna miss her. <clears throat> so 
with that, go see it. Um, if you have any other things you want to talk about with the spoiler, you can talk below. Make sure you put spoilers in there so that way, you know, people will know not to read on. Be courteous, courteous in that way. Um, but um, I'm also, um, uh, you know, I, I left one secret character that I didn't want to put in the spoilers that really excited me that I saw. But you know who it is. You know who it is if you saw the movie. So, um... I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going to be doing a movie, a video, a special video also on the merger or the buying out of Disney buying Fox because now we have X-Men in the MCU. My God, today, guys, has been an epic day for me. They bought Fox, and we now have X-Men in the MCU. And Star Wars, The Last Jedi, was probably, like, my second favorite Star Wars movie of all time. But I want to know what you guys think. Make sure you comment below. And we'll go ahead and uh, have a little discussion about this. Definitely, if you, if you haven't seen Star Wars, you went through the spoilers. Well, you're stupid. Go see it. And as always, I am Pointy Man with Gamer Potheads. Please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and as always, we're all about the high score. Peace out, and I'll talk to you all later.